Hello and welcome to France 24, broadcasting live from Paris. We start with some news from Kenya. In eastern Turkey, tens of thousands of people are taking refuge in sheltered accommodation after their homes were destroyed by a 7.2 magnitude earthquake on Sunday. More than a thousand rescue teams are headed to the area hit by the earthquake as hundreds of people remain trapped under collapsed buildings. So far, the death toll stands at more than 200, with more than 1,000 people injured. In Tunisia, election officials are counting votes to see who will be part of the country's first democratically elected government. And they have their work cut out. More than 90% of the 4.1 million people registered to vote cast their ballot. Our correspondent in Tunis, Catherine Norris-Trent, told us that this time the public feel a sense of duty. Well, the many Tunisian voters who turned out for the country's elections were also joined by legions of election observers who guard against vote rigging. Whole families turned up at polling stations keen to ink their fingers and make their voices heard. Our reporting team in Tunisia takes us through this momentous day. Well, in Libya, celebrations are in full swing. Well, while Jalil was speaking in Benghazi, the birthplace of the uprising, over in the capital Tripoli, parties were also continuing late into the night. Our reporter Chris Moore has been speaking to people there to find out their hopes and fears for the Libya of tomorrow. In Brussels, talks between Europe's leaders on how to solve the debt crisis appear to be making headway. An agreement on bank recapitalisation is edging closer, as is a solution to leveraging the region's bailout fund. Wednesday is decision deadline day, but some leaders are hinting that won't give them enough time. Well, that's all for now, but we'll be back in 20 minutes.